All right, fix myself up a little bit. Anyway, I made a video and I was talking about the different frequencies and, and I've been feeling for most of this summer, I've been exposing myself to different lights, <clears throat> different binaural beats, brain waves, frequencies. I've got the, the list. I have the revised list now of the universities, the one they have in uh, Seven of Beaumar School. Uh, about the frequencies and really been adjusting myself to be able to feel more, pick up on more and I'm kind of like a psychonaut too so the way I do shit is fucking crazy it really is, it's crazy it's specific to me there, that's more that's more like it so man, and my topic has been what's that well is this me doing this shit scared the hell out of me <laughs> like um without there being any reason i've been able to pick up vibes off of people that i don't like and i've been having to express it you know like hey i don't i don't i don't i don't like the the vibe i'm getting getting this you know, because I'm trying to, to anchor into the land. I even got it into my water right here. See, I got my bucket of water. I vibrate with the frequencies for restructuring water into my house. And I have like a pseudo organic system point to point in all the little nodes of my area that I live in. And I work them. Move back and forth through different stuff. You know, personal ritual, quantum shit because that's what it is, you know, powered by belief. I'm a man antenna. Now, my one friend with the dog, I'd spend a lot of time with the dog. I just, the communication's not there, you know? It's like, she, she gets aggravated if I try to communicate to her and it just wasn't, it wasn't a, a, a good feedback wasn't a good feedback wasn't I was picking up on shit the only real message or thing that I imparted was you know that she's like hey we went to a concert and they would say something about the devil and then the bright lights say flash flashy thing is and then we couldn't remember really much after that they neuralized their ass which they do they do us on our phones on our you know they have all different ways of going about this doing this so but I mean, uh, the also being able to feel then allows you to look at the, So you're you're going and you're watching what you watch. Your 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 own things that you do, and you'll pick up on certain gang stalking elements. I'll I'll have to just say it's that because it's like you can see where somebody's looked at you and then gossiped or informed the oppositionary of that perspective by you letting them in you open the door to their wrong perception and it gets transmitted out and you'll see it in the reality by where it's at i don't know if that makes any sense to anybody but that's sort of my perception of it so i have to shut those doors <clears throat> Because if they were the right perception, it'd be all right, you know, but it's not, you know. And I found out how to draw my line, you know, because they're always going to try to push you to making you feel you're this, that, or the other and project it upon you. And nobody really has the right to do that. Only the evil ones do that. And if you extend your wrong perception to someone else, that's evil. It is. If you don't have the time or you don't have the means to get the right perception, then you need to back off on what you're wanting to take from that person, i.e. watch my dog or, you know, the service that I'll do to that person would have to be diminished. It wouldn't be balanced right because there's no give and take. And I really don't have any malice in this, this situation. I keep saying that, but... I don't want to destroy the relationship. I don't need to have building of enemies. I just need to have my personal space 
and what I'm working on is plugging in my perceptions to this land. And it does work because we have the situation here is as such as we've got the river backed up behind us. The river bends to the land and our yard as the drive. So it's like figure eights in. It's really neat and does a collider sort of thing. A dream catcher esque sort of thing already. So, but I was getting really negative vibes and really drained. And I've got this toothache and it's starting to really fucking bother me. And I'm at the, my, I normally will get sick when they're not like sick, I'm like sick, but like my body goes through that sort of sick change for the each of the new seasons. And I'm kind of getting that now where I've got the allergy taste and shit so i'm at i'm in my low because i'm phase shifting for the next phase of the seasons my body is you know i'm in tune with my body enough to know what it does you know that's know thyself type shit so you figure out your own cycles and shit like that but just picking up on a lot of negative and adversarial shit and i think a lot of it has to do with um the person being deceptive in some of their because they were being deceptive just in they're what they're doing you know and i don't even it's like i'm plugged into my land so i know people come by oh well i've seen her over here or she's you know, this and that so it's like you're not even you don't even have to look you don't have to ask it's not my concern but if you're being deceptive ahead of of that see what i'm saying just getting a lot of the wrong feelings and I'm working on my feelings because I'm a man it's already difficult but I'm an empath so I have to learn to separate what my feelings are from what I pick up on to know what's other people so that I can do my service work to them you know you know by I have to learn my mechanisms and shit and there's the, it's a lifelong journey to do that you know like I said before in my last video I was like with, with these movies tying into all these archetypes of the superheroes and stuff they're doing that because they they want to pick and program for us instead of us doing it ourselves we discover for ourselves what we can pick up on and your your physical senses aren't the channel they're already gonna t they only present you with the maya the illusion form of what is actually there so you're not getting but the consensus so we can operate in the jungle versions of things which is going to change because we're going through an ascension process and that I truly believe that we are as you see me dip my tobacco and drink my Dr. Pepper I like Dr. Pepper and I'm thankful for it and the 23 flavors when I drink it. I thank those 23 flavors and I have to go through a process. My dad drinks them. He's a lot skinnier and he, he drinks them because they help him keep his calories up. And his metabolism is like um, real finicky. So I can handle it. So I drink more of that and I just pick what he wants because he's... I, I'm able to take the change and the shock, although I'd like to get into more drinking water and shit like that, which sometimes I do, And but now our refrigerator is broken, so part of the process gets life, life, life gets in the way of all these things we want to do, but that's all right, because that's what it's about. We can find out that we're having an experience as a spirit having a body that we are this spirit we always have been but this body is temporary so just want to dispel and clear the air of the negativity and I was experiencing it could it be partially from me it could be but I'm pretty I'm pretty into the I'm looking at myself I'm checking myself out 
check in my motivations, motivations and shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm doing that, I'm doing that in my day to day, and I know what I'm after and what I'm about. So it's not really a mystery to me. And if I don't have a clear channel to communicate with somebody, or there's not a good base of cooperation in the middle ground that there is in between just being friends and having a relationship, but having to be close up to somebody where you have to deal with them, there needs to be some give and take. And there was a lot more take than it was give. And that's all I'm saying. It could have been helpful. It just really bogged my energies down. Even the ones that I can feel. You know? So, that isn't... And I'm harsh in my speaking. But that's just my coping mechanism. So, I'm saying it now that I'm clear in the air. Because for myself, personally, I just... I feel things and I don't always know where it's from. You know, people need to be able to communicate how they feel because they may not know where it's from. That's how you find out. And sometimes it's helpful to have help in finding out. And it's helpful to be able to discuss and put out there what you feel to somebody other than just you. Because it used to be where people didn't even, uh, weren't even able to interpret their own dreams. That's what they say with the Sumerians, that they, it was... You weren't supposed to interpret your dreams. You were supposed to have uh, your mother's or a mother. That was part of their role. And it seems like with the feminine being turned on, like the divine feminine, there's a big gap where all the, you know, if it's because of men uh, putting them in a subjugated role and we're paying it back, whatever that is, there's been a, there's a big void where we're missing a lot of the, energies that the woman would be putting there naturally because we fucked up collectively we've 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 fucked up in our going about shit and we had help so it's not a big deal other than to notice that hey we we haven't been out of balance so to get back balanced we're gonna have to go through these little difficult moments of awareness when we look at some of these things and see what's missing or what's too much there and that's all I want to say on that it's just that we need to be able to communicate and we need to be able to let go and we, and 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 be able to be a little bit harsh but not not with hate there's no hate there's no hatred but there's a real sense of something's fucking with me you know when I feel these energies, and it's also, it comes with the, um, I can, when I look into my, my reality, it's as if I'm being spied on from a distance, and I can pick up on that, because I know, I have, I have means of judging that, and finding out, verifying it to be the case, and that's, I pick up on the evidence of that, so, it's like, being spied, and then being chattered about, so, if you're not going to be helpful to me and I can't be helpful to you in a balanced way and I'm being chattered about because that's your main thing is what you where you work is you can ch 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 chatter about about me to other people then that's not gonna work that's not gonna work because you're not letting me communicate and you're not you have to you have to let people communicate and then you have to back and forth so it's going to take all of us to do that. And that's all I want to say. Because I think it's important that people learn how to do it and do it.